any reaction between reactant A and B. These are the two reactants are given here. Let me write down the reaction at first. A plus B is equal to product. This is a reaction taking place. The initial rate of reaction or not was measured for different initial concentration of both reactant. You can see that uh, the concentration of reactant A and reactant B is given and their rate of reaction is given. The question says what is the order of reaction with respect to reactant A and with respect to reactant B. Consider the order of reaction with respect to reactant A is X and with respect to reactant B is Y. This is the equation is given here. We apply the rate law in this equation. We know that the rate law is the product of reactant. These are the two reactants. Let me write down the rate law. Rate it is R rate is equal to K is a rate constant bracket product of uh, reactants and there are two reactants we just multiply both reactant raised to the power of theirs respect to experimentally determined value value basically uh, refers to the order of reaction and we have assumed the order of reaction with respect to reactant A is X that's why A uh, raised to the power of A we mention X and similarly uh, we mention raised to the power b is y. This is the rate law for this given equation. Well, there are uh, uh, the, the in concentration of reactant A and B is given in the table and their uh, respective rate of reaction given. There are three different data are given. We can plug in uh, in this rate law and find out uh, the equations. Since there are three different uh, uh, values which are given, that's why we will get three different equations. Let's uh, let me take the first data. I encircle the first data here. The rate of reaction uh, for the first data is given 5.07 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 is equal to rate constant, which is unknown. Bracket. The initial concentration of A is given 0 0.20 raised to the power x break it the initial concentration of p is given 0 0.30 raised to the power y we label it first equation similarly for the rest of the two data we find out uh, two more equations let me take second data now for the second data the rate of reaction is given 5.07 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 it is similar to first equation is equal to k break it the concentration of A is given 0 0.20 raised to, to the power x break it. The concentration of B is given 0 0.10 raised to the power y. We label it second equation. Now let us move on to the final data that is this one and for this rate of reaction is given 1.43 multiplied by 10 to powers minus 4 is equal to rate constant break it. The concentration of A is given 0 0.40 raised to the power x and break it. The concentration of B is given 0 0.05 raised to the power y. We label it third equation. Well, we use these equations to find out x and y value. Let me take first and second equation because you can see the rate of reaction in both equation is same. The concentration of uh, uh, Reactant A is also same. If we, we divide the second equation by first, then these similar values will cancel out. Let me divide second equation by uh, first equation. Then rate of reaction are same. That's why if we divide, then you will get to 1. And here also KK will also cancel here. And since the concentration of uh, reactant A is also same in both equation and raised to the power of same exponent x will cancel out you will get 1 and so y part you will get uh, 0 0.30 raised to the power y divided by 0 0.10 raised to the power y. Here we can uh, <coughs> simplify this expression. You can divide 0 0.30 by 0 0.10 you will get 3. Then we have 1 equal to 3 raised to the power y. We take uh, log on both side, then we have log 1 is equal to log 3 raised to the power y. We apply here 
logarithm power rule that's why we have y log 3 log of 1 is equal to 0 and if you transfer log 3 on left side it will also become 0 that's why y value is equal to 0 here we, we can say that the order of reaction with respect to b is equal to 0 now we use uh, the y value and these equations to find out x value let me take third and first equation we divide uh, third equation by first equation let me write down the third equation at first uh, the rate of reaction for the third equation is given 1.43 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 divided by uh, uh, let me complete the third equation at first okay bracket 0 0.40 raised to the power x and 0 0.05 raised to the power y and so the first equation let me take this is the first equation rate of reaction is given 0 5.07 multiplied by 10 to power minus 5 and here this side we have k bracket 0 0.20 raised to the power x bracket 0 0.30 raised to the power y well you uh, here's y value we have determined already uh, already that is equal to 0 if you plug in y is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 this entire value will become to equal to 0 this value will also become equal to 0 because x to power 0 is equal to g 1 this is the concept in math we apply here and here kk will cancel because both are same you can divide 1.43 by 5.07 you will get 0 0.28 and uh, for exponent part uh, we reciprocate um, uh, this uh, this value uh, denominator value uh, on um, uh, reciprocate uh, this uh, 10 to power minus 5 then it if it goes up it becomes plus 5 as a numerator as a numerator and you can subtract 4 uh, from 5 that's why you will have 10 to power 1 and it's equal to 10 you can multiply 0 0.28 uh, by 10 because both are in numerator that's why 0 0.28 multiplied by 10 is equal to this part you can divide 0 0.40 by 0 0.20 because uh, both have exponent same you will get 2 the 2 to powers x we can simplify this uh, expression further we multiply 0 0.28 by 10 you will get 2.8 is equal to 2 to power x we take log on both side yes we have log 2.8 is equal to log 2 uh, 2 to power 2 to power x and we apply we apply uh, the logarithm power rule that's why you will get x log 2 and uh, sorry it is let me fix it Two. and now you can transfer log 2 on uh, left side then x value you will get log 2.8 divided by log 2 now you can plug in log values log of 2.8 is equal to 0 0.447 divided by log of 2 it is very common value 0 0.3010 you can divide both values you will get 1.48 and we round out these figures 8 is uh, greater than 5 that's why we round 4 to 5 and the value will get 1.5 this is the x value equal to 1.5 and here you can say the order of reaction with respect to reactant A is 1.5 and the order of reaction with respect to reactant B is equal